So, first of all, you guys have been bugging me about the salsa contest. We finally picked a winner. Uh, Carrie, who's one of the creators of Chico's Pico Salsa, thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Jack. It's awesome. She and I sat down and we went through about 50 recipes. It was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot. It was really tough. There were some crazy ones. There were some crazy ones. There were some really good ones and then some very involved recipes. Yeah, we didn't like the involved ones. It was like, what is this? Like surgery? It's just salsa. We had one like put your shoe in a blender. I'm like, what? You know, it was some crazy stuff. But we went through them all and we picked out, we got it narrowed down to one. And Matt Burns is our winner. So congratulations to Matt Burns. I'll be sending out your uh, sauce. Uh, you're getting a four pack variety, okay? And uh, we're gonna do this right now. He doesn't have a name for it. So, uh, but he does, he does say that he makes it for Super Bowl. Super Bowl salsa. That's what we're gonna call it. Super Bowl salsa. <laughs> now we have a name for it. That was easy. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, get out of the way and then I'm gonna let Carrie take over because uh, she is the salsa queen and we're gonna let her explain the ingredients and so t come on in close. We'll, we'll let you see how it works. You're gonna start with two and a half pounds of fresh Roma tomatoes. You're gonna use the juice of half of a fresh lime. You're gonna use half of a medium white onion. Clove of garlic, I would use four to five little heads or little cloves on that. But that's up to you. You can use more garlic if you like garlic. We love garlic. And fresh jalapenos. It's about four to five, depending on the heat that you like. Just remember, you can always add heat. You can't subtract heat when you're making salsa. Fresh cilantro. I like to use just the leaves. They're delicate and they break down quicker as opposed to using the leaves and the stems. The stems are edible, but visually when you blend your salsa, sometimes you might end up with large pieces of stems, so leaves only. Salt and pepper. This is chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. What they are is jalapeno peppers that have remained on the vine until they're red and ripe, and then they start to dry out, so all the moisture's out of them. Then they're processed and they're wood smoked. So you get a lot of flavor in this little tiny can. They have beautiful color. It's almost like a rich raisin color. And they're a great addition to any of your chili, salsa, of course. Um, I would put them in enchiladas, anything like that. Great flavor, powerhouse. So this is a can of green chopped chilies, which are mild chilies. The recipe calls for New Mexico chilies, which are Anaheim chilies. It's just a mild chili pepper. If you can't find them, if they're out of season, you can always go with just a can of mild green chilies. So when you're working with fresh jalapenos, a great thing to remember is to wear plastic gloves, just these disposable kitchen gloves. Jalapenos have oils in them. They get on your skin and it'll stay on your skin and it actually burns. So you can wash your hands three or four times and your skin will still be burning. Okay, so your first step is you're going to take your chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce, your garlic, I did five cloves, I like garlic, and juice half a lime. So you're going to puree this until it's smooth, and this is going to be your big flavor in your salsa, and I think that this is probably the secret to this salsa and why people love it so much. So you've blended your adobo and your chipotle peppers with your garlic and your lime. You've set that aside. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to process our jalapenos first. You want these to be finely chopped. You don't want any big chunks of jalapenos in your salsa. And then add the rest of your ingredients, your tomatoes. And then we just added our mild chilies, your white onions, and then lastly top it off with your cilantro. So we did ours, we blended it down, not super chunky, but I, I prefer a blended salsa, like a restaurant style salsa. After you've blended your salsa, you're going to take your adobo mixture, 
put that in your salsa bowl. Okay, so then you're going to mix it with your remaining ingredients. And you can see that color from the adobo lime juice and garlic mixture, that darker color coming through. You make sure your color is all consistent. Okay, so forgive me for the Halloween chips, everybody. I had some leftover tortilla chips, and I'm not letting them go to waste. Oh, come on, look how beautiful. Those look like, those look like Dorito chips, don't they? But they're not. Okay, you ready to try this? I am. All right, well, are you going black or are you going orange? I'll go orange. All right, I'll go black. <laughs> Oh boy, the comments are coming. <laughs> Stop it. Do you want me to try it? Yeah, try it. You go first. This way she drops dead, I'm good. Is it good? It's worth trying. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, Matt Burns. Here you go, buddy. And I like to balance a lot on it. Here we go. Oh, wow. Really fresh. And hot. And hot. We like okay, hot. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Matt, you didn't know it was hot. It's delicious, though. And it has that little bit of, like, smoky sweetness on the back. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah, it's got that, hit, that smoky. Is that from the Chipotle's? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the key to this, isn't it? It is. Yeah, the Chipotle's. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm taking another bite. Oh, my gosh. The heat's really good, though, okay? Be ready for some heat. I'm not kidding. It's nice. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love it. Oh, it's delicious. I nice love it. job. All right. I just want to thank you, Carrie, for being on the show. She picked the best one there. I'm telling you, Super Bowl salsa, right? Matt's, yeah? Matt Burns Super Bowl salsa. Matt Burns Super Bowl salsa. That's what we're calling it. Try it out. And then if you want to say hi to us or give us comments below on how you like it, uh, just write it down in the, in the uh, comment area, okay? I will see you on the next episode. You guys take care. Bye bye.